Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to share with you Uganda's remarkable journey in developing and implementing the INFFs under the strategic leadership of the UN Resident Coordinator Office and the Ministry of Finance. Uganda has made significant strides towards aligning development planning and financing. Uh, allow me to delve into the key aspects. Uh, we had the joint program on uh, the INFF in 2020. We embarked on a, jo a joint program known as the Integrated Financing in, in Uganda, led by UNDP and involving uh, agencies like UN Women and UNCDF. The program's objectives were to enhance alignment between development planning and financing, prepare a comprehensive national financing strategy, and improve public finance management. Uh, then uh, the other intervention was the program Best Planning and Budgeting. Uh, Uganda shifted from sector planning uh, to national development planning uh, using programs. The 20 national programs were identified and prioritized, each with detailed program implementation action plans. Um, and the third intervention was the alignment of, uh, uh, between national and local plans. Uh, UNDP supported uh, and facilitated the alignment of 176 local governments um, uh, development plans to the national development plan. This ensured coherence and synergies between national and local development priorities. Uh, the other intervention was the development of a roadmap to the parish development model, uh, the, known as the PDM. The PDM aims to achieve socioeconomic transformation at the village and community level. Um, the parish serves as an epicenter for development activities, fostering integrated approaches. Then we, the other intervention was the certificate of budget compliance process. Uh, Uganda revised the methodology of assessing uh, alignment between development planning policies and budgetary frameworks. This certificate of budget compliance now evaluates both national and local levels. And uh, the INF, uh, the, IN, the integrated national development policies and strategies, uh, we, we launched key uh, policies and strategies, including the development finance assessment, the public investment financing strategy, the roadmap for SDG implementation, and the national industrial policy uh, 2020. Uh, so all these, uh, are interventions that uh, um, were created by the INFFs. We, we, ha we also have the private sector engagement. The, the UNDP supported the creation of the investment map uh, for Uganda and uh, the use of market intelligence tools to assist private investor investors by providing insights into the local market conditions. And uh, um, we also had support to uh, gender responsive budgeting um, fr from the UN Women, and uh, mainstreaming climate actions, development of a national uh, green taxonomy and framework for in innovative financing options. We we've also had support to creation of a project preparation fund and uh, constituted a resource alignment committee uh, allocating and, and allocated institutional responsibilities for all the financing options in the public investment financing strategy. Um, what we are looking to next is monitoring and, and, and reviewing and governance of all these activities, which will be an iterative process that will be undertaken concurrently along with the implementation of the PIFs. Uh, and in conclusion, Uganda's experience with the INFs demonstrates the power of collaboration, strategic planning, innovative financing. As we embark, and as we embark on this journey, we remain committed to mobilize new resources to if, and if, efficiently utilize public funds for maximum impact in order to achieve sustainable development for all. Thank you.